Hey everyone and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 and the Carling Empire. Uh, we have just uh, received an extra diplomat. This is one of the bonuses uh, we get from being the courier controller. Let me quickly show you here. So we have an extra diplomat. We have stability cost reduced. We get extra prestige and uh, we have some better advisors. Uh, tech cost is reduced, extra leader and aggressive expansion is reduced, which is probably well, maybe one of the most useful out of all of this because we want, well, we can't declare war on those guys anymore, but we might want to declare war on Spoleto, the empire here. And um, they're allied with a few people. And of course, this would also pull us into war with Sicily, which is, oh, wait, you're, oh, you're allied to Provence. I was just going to say like, wait, are you at war with Provence? Because that would have actually immediately made me declare war, but that's not actually the case. Okay. Um. We're a little bit in demand of diplomatic power, it seems. That's because we're currently annexing Toulouse. Okay, I understand. Um, England lost our capital to Wales and England. So I think Wales and England, uh, Wales and Ireland have this handled. I don't think we need to focus on this. We can instead go to war here. Um, so how do we do this? Let's first, actually, let's start... Can we... We cannot do this right now. But the Cardinal... Oh yeah, the Cardinal, the Cura Controller. That's some really good stuff. Definitely want to go ahead and boost our stability here. We have these modifiers. And then what else that we have? Could maybe check out some new advisors. Don't think we need that at the moment. But at some point maybe. And I also want to build a new church. I mean, we are Curia Controller, right? Let's build one in Balawa. Just because I know it's not the best province to build in right now. Aquitaine would be slightly better. And that's where we're going to build the next one. But for now, um, it's fine. Now, um, who do I want to improve relations with? Let's... Oh, we've got some great power actions. Let's improve relations with outraged countries. With our allies? No. Maybe with our subject nations, that's fine. Then we have one that's annexing, and then we've got one free, which is kind of have around. Uh, Galicia is preparing to attack Burgos. Yeah, that's fine. What do we have here? Secession of church functions. Noble families were often granted control over church lands and appointments were made in many states in exchange for cash contributions to the crown's efforts. The crown, of course, lost control over some revenues this way in exchange for a short-term boost in revenue. Okay, so we can gain some money, but we we gain papal influence, lose tax. The clergy would be unhappy, the nobility is happy. Decline, we gain stability. Uh, the clergy will be more happy. Uh, I think we're going to try and align us with the clergy. I mean, we've been trying to do this in CK2 with the College and Car Cardinals, and now we finally have the control and we're still playing as Augusta. I feel like this fits. And we don't really want to tr try and piss them off. I think we're going to we're gonna try and go on the good side of the clergy here. The nobility is still fine. So, I mean, and we can always call a diet. Yeah, in a few years again. So that's fine. I think we're going to go with the stability. But if we can... If we can increase our stability before that. Ah, uh, that's perfect. Because now we're going to be... At plus two. Very nice. Very, very nice. Getting all kinds of great bonuses there too. Well, they're not that huge. Still, extra tax is actually really good. By the way, now that just because I read about institution spread, has it spread anywhere? No. Renaissance is going very, very slowly. Oh well. Uh, we've just seen Bulgaria grow very powerful. Taking four provinces from Byzantium here. And they have actually lost vassals. They do give up Achaia and Tracia as vassals. Wow, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. And I think that their other vassals are still very much interested in independence. So Byzantium significantly weakened. I would even, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. They're very low here. They are probably going to get kicked out. They're going to lose their great power rank to some other nation. But wow, that is... That was impressive. And they now have peasants. <laughs> peasants have taken over the greatest city of the world. Well, of course, the greatest city is Paris. 
Um, we could force him to break an alliance with Egypt. You know what we could do? We could actually have our influence over here. Have you break your lines with Sicily? No. You have trust. Hmm. That might be something that I would love to do. Break that lines there. But yeah, now we're actually, you know, Bulgaria is our rival. We've picked them as our rival. Um, I don't know if we really want them to succeed, to be honest. Now that I think about it, it's probably not that great. Um, and you won't believe it, but Navarra actually expanded in the Baltic. They're probably going to lose this to Sweden now, but they, they actually expanded at first. So that's kind of cool. To see. We've got some more peasants here. That's very usual for Russia. <laughs> for the Russian regions. That there's peasants rising up. Of course. A little bit too early maybe. And Venice wants military access. We're going to grant... Oh, that war with the Papal State. Uh, no. I don't know. Tuscany is at war. Papal State is at war with Venice and Piombino. Hmm. Maybe we can make you a vassal. Maybe we should just go to war with you. Their overlord will join this war if we decline. Okay. And there's Northumbrian separatists here in England. Yeah. England, you're really not looking too hot. Maybe what we can do here is... Um... Support their rebels. Sabotage reputation. Support rebels. There you go. Okay, we need a little bit of spy network for this. Hmm. Well, we'll do that in Bulgaria. What is our closest threat, to be honest? Sicily. It's probably Sicily, honestly. Let's build a spy network here. I'm not too certain on those guys. So many options. So many things we can do. A bit overwhelmed by that at some point. Okay, we gotta keep... Some are gonna... Try and keep up our projection above 50. Um, I'm not quite sure how we can do this. We can obviously increase in rank. A uh, great power rank. That will give us a little bit more. But that is the only thing we can do at the moment. Jerusalem wants military axes. Mm, no. Uh, instead though, I will go ahead and build a church. Perfect. Got 20% chance to be re-elected. Let's uh, invest a little bit more here. And let's see if there's anyone interested in making us emperor. Oh, yes. Tuscany is pretty close. Tuscany is very close. If we improve relations with them. Uh, let's come back from England. Is there any chance to improve more relations? Not much. Any other electors? Hmm. A lot of people backing Sicily here. Salzburg could potentially... Oh, we've already improved relations with them. Let's try this again. Let's try and get one of these electors under control here. Be nice. Okay, and... It seems Scotland has joined in on the war. They're now at war with York, Ireland... And Norway. And... Okay, England is now winning. But they're not winning enough yet. They need to be at 25% before we can actually do anything. But they also still have these rebels to deal with. Damn, poor Ireland. Being beaten. Wales completely overwhelmed. I hope these rebels can really mess them up. I, li I like what's going on though. I think uh, it's a lot of fun. There's now more rebels. Oh my god. Okay, our truce has ended. I don't even know why you had a truce in the first place. And Sweden wants military axes. Yeah, I'm not interested. 
Oh, that's because Sweden has actually landed in Navarra? Holy hell, what is going on? Everything is happening. Now, we definitely want to declare this war as well. Is Sicily still fighting Jerusalem? They actually are. And it seems to be pretty difficult for them to do this successfully. Tunis has taken out Tassili here. Good for them. Very good for them. And Byzantium no longer has any allies. Ooh, that's not good. That's really not good. Do they actually still have their claims? They've lost their claim on Bulgaria, of course. And I think they lost their claim on, on their vassals, too. Which is interesting. Um, yeah. Wow, England. Yorkist separatists as well. That's interesting. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, England. Oh, Salzburg one's interesting. Yeah, definitely Salzburg. Please vote for me. Yeah, we're not going to get the uh, the title. I'm pretty certain. Too bad. But wow, okay. Uh, you've peaced out. England peaced out with Wales. And Wales... Okay, Wales and Ireland defended successfully. Now I wonder what Scotland's going to do here. They're winning right now. And England's having some real issues now with Yorkist separatists after Northumbrian have been defeated. <laughs> Alright, definitely like keep an eye on that. We might at some point want to invade um, England too. It's just not really my point right now. Sicily has claimed... Uh, what? Okay. It's just the problem that they're allied to Provence. That really bothers me. But we can go to war with them if we declare war on Spoleto. Um, proven relations with Flanders. And that we have some bad news. Oh no. Oh no. Gilbert... Yeah, our uh, king died. Augusto. Well, not our king, our emperor. Augusto Carling died. It, there's not even a news about it, which... Shouldn't there be an event? Well, I guess our nation is in mourning over the loss of our previous monarch, Augusto Carling. He died while the army was camped in Paris. His intricate maneuvering left our enemies dazed and confused. Yeah, it wasn't just camping. We were actually training here. And uh, we did improve our... Professional was quite a bit, 8% now. It's not too bad. Um, yeah, so I think... What are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? I Obviously, I've thought about uh, whether or not I should uh, continue. And um, I've been reading through the comments to see what people said. And I've come to the conclusion that maybe it is best if I truly just continue as France. Because... Um, we have been following them for a long time, obviously, and I think that is correct. Maybe this is just not the series where I try out this new format. I definitely want to do this, and I think I will do that once the Dharma update comes out. But I think right now, for this particular converted series, I will just continue playing as France. That being said, um... It still will not be a world conquest or anything like that. And once we're too powerful, once I just feel like I don't really have all that much fun playing anymore, then I guess we'll just end. I mean, that's that's really, that's the consequence of this. Um, and so that this doesn't really happen all that quickly, I've decided that I will put in a little bit of a role play in a sense that I'm not going to focus on the, on the traits that much that are... Uh, Emperor has, but I do want to give them an outlook. I want to give each of our rulers a goal, something that they want to achieve. Now, with Augusto, that was, you know, we were trying to uh, become Emperor. Obviously, that was still part of CK2, right? Then, then we were obviously a great warrior. We took back France, and we actually, you know, put our family back in a very, very powerful position in which we are 
uh, in which we still are, uh, we actually have uh, Brittany. Uh, we've taken over Brittany. And one thing that I probably should have done um, that I just forgot, I wanted to remove uh, these provinces from the Holy Roman Empire. Let me quickly show this to you. Ah, uh, that, uh, that actually bothers me right now. I wanted to do this as Augusto. Let's pretend I did that as Augusto Carling. Um, we are, obviously we have declared our um, independence from the empire and will now remove these provinces here to uh, show our strength. Now what this also does, this actually reduces our relations uh, with the current emperor by quite a bit. Let me quickly see what Sicily says about this. Uh, they say minus 200 removed provinces from the empire. So they're pretty pissed about this. Um, we're at odds. So I think some at some point we're going to go to war with Sicily. And we'll have a little bit of an issue here. Because Gilbert's wife, obviously, is, uh, is the Duchess of Provence. So, and they're allied to Sicily. So this is going to be an interesting situation for all of us. But yeah, um, what's the outlook? The outlook for Augusto Carling was... He was trying to become emperor. It didn't really work out. He tried to get the courier under control, which we have succeeded at. We are a courier controller. Um, and now we'll have to see what we can do with that power. We have also obviously fought some wars to grow more powerful. And we have basically all of the French cultures with with the Bretons were be, being the last that were that joined under our direct control. I think, well, Provence, Dauphine... There's a few provinces, I guess, that are left, but Provence is sort of under control. So, yeah, we united our culture is, I guess, our great achievement. So, what are we going to do is, is Gilbert? I'm not fully decided yet. He's obviously a very good fighter as well. So, we're going to have a few wars too. Um, maybe we're going to try and, and get Provence under full control. Maybe that's our goal. And then... Uh, yeah, I don't know, just just kind of dominate Sicily, I, I could imagine. Haven't really fully decided. If you have some uh, ideas, some suggestions, you can obviously leave them in the comment section as well uh, as an outlook for uh, Gilbert. But for now, um, we have an immediate issue that is Toulouse having high liberty desire at 56%. Um, we can placate... Yeah, let's placate them again. Hmm... Or we can enable scootage. Forces your vassal pay additional of their income to you. To you. Okay. Why are they paying nothing right now? Moderna is paying money. Toulouse is not. Oh, that's because they're... Yeah, obviously because of their liberty desire. Uh, mm, sure. Oh no, that actually does not change their liberty desire at all. Okay, well I guess we're gonna have to placate them. That's all we can really do at this point. So let's let's do it. Okay, we'll keep the rest going. And there's some condottieries. And there's some churches we can build. Which I think we should continue. In Maine and Dijon. There we go. Okay, we can make new states. We're not gonna do any of that. All right, I think for now, we'll basically continue the path we've gone. And okay, we immediately have unhappiness among the artisans. Conflicts and protests over taxes, corporations, trade and customs policies are becoming quite frequent and could result in a sharp drop in our industrial production if we don't handle the situation carefully. Okay, execute the troublemakers or abolish a tax. Uh, the bourgeoisie gains... Uh, okay, we don't really have the money. I think we would be someone that executes them. We'll lose stability for this. Do we want to lose stability? Uh, no. Can we afford to lose money? Let me see. Can we ask for contribution? Um... Yeah, let's see. We'll grant you Monopoly Charters. And if we abolish a tax... 
you gain more loyalty. So we... Okay. It's just a loss. But I, I don't want to lose the stability right now. Just don't really want to lose the stability. Okay, you know what we'll do? We'll abolish the tax. But we'll at least ask for a contribution from you guys here. Actually, you know what? If we recruit a minister here, that will gain influence. Or an admiral, even. Let's get an admiral. Give them some more influence. And they can now contribute 200 gold. Uh, which is perfect. So we have... I don't think we've lost anything. We've gained an admiral out of this whole deal. And a more loyal estate. I think that was actually very well handled uh, on my part here. On Gilbert's part. Okay. Well, so on that note, I think I will end uh, today's episode. Uh, as I said, please leave your thoughts in the comments as to what Gilbert would want to do with his life. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.